Hello Technology Craze here and today we're going to be having a look at the top city tweaks for the iPhone 5 as well as the iPod Touch 5 so please sit back and enjoy. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be going over my very favorite tweaks for the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5 for all the people that have just jailbroken their iDevice and want to know what to do with it. Uh, so the very first one we have is Screen Extender. Uh, it's one of my very favorite apps. It actually allows you to get the full screen experience on all applications. So if you have the big screen like the iPod Touch 5 as well as the iPhone 5, you're going to notice some applications don't support the big screen yet. So this one right here, you can see that it has black bars on the top and bottom. Screen Extender automatically fixes that issue. Uh, it will actually generate the rest of the application and make it basically full screen. Uh, so once we download Insidia, you go down and find Screen Extender, make sure it's turned on, and all you have to do is go and find the application that you want to uh, turn on. And mine's right here. Uh, now it's a little bit finicky right now, so you might have to turn it off and on, and also kill the application, just like that. And now you can notice that it has the full screen, and it looks perfect, it looks amazing definitely one of the best tweaks out there. Now talking about screen real estate, we also have another application called Diet Bar, which basically shrinks the top bar and the bottom bar in all applications and basically gives you more screen real estate. Uh, you can customize it in settings and turn it off for the applications that you don't want it to be on for. The next tweak is called Axo and it's basically multitasking on steroids. It's how multitasking should have been. Uh, but here we can see all my multitasking applications. If I want to close one, I can just drag it down. And uh, no more of that clicking that little X button that is very, very frustrating. If you want to close all the applications, all you have to do is hold down the app. And here it says, do you want to remove all the applications? And you can press yes and it will close all the applications. Also, you have a redesigned music player, which is really cool. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of new little widgets or little buttons that you can press to enable Wi-Fi, turn off airplane mode, turn it on, as well as adjust the brightness right up from the bottom. The next tweak is called Folder Enhancer, and it basically gives you more options with the folders. Uh, you can actually put folders inside folders, which might be handy for the people that have uh, lots of applications here. And you could also have unlimited amount of icons inside folders. Uh, so here I can actually make a folder inside folder. Really cool. Suggest you check it out. The next week is called NC Colors and it basically adjusts the notification center look. Uh, so if we bring down notification center here, you can see it's a blurred background and you just get this nicer looking um, notification center. And you can actually adjust all the settings here, turn off the blur. Uh, and turn it off in settings. Next is a tweak called multi icon mover. Now this basically allows you to move multiple icons uh, at once. So if we want to move multiple icons we just hold down uh, the wiggle mode. We can select any applications that we want to move by just clicking on them. And then where we go wherever we want to go. We can even go inside the folder if we want to go inside the folder. Um, let's say we want to go over here. I just have to press the home button and they all move there. Very, very handy. Next is a tweak called Zephyr, and it basically allows you to do gestures to open and close applications, as well as bring up Notification Center, as well as uh, the multitasking, uh, which I have it set right now. Uh, so we can go in settings here. We can actually enable it so you can swipe left and right in between applications. You can also press uh, the Use Grabber function. This basically allows you, uh, so you, you, you can't do it by accident. You have to do it twice. Uh, to do it. I don't like that so much, but for applications and games, that's really handy. Uh, you can also change different actions. So I have it set on the only the switcher. Uh, so I don't like it closing applications because I find that I'm playing a game and I accidentally hit the side. It closed the application, but I do like the multitasking, bringing up multitasking like that. It's a really cool application. You can also change the switcher delay and you can also disable it in certain applications if you want to. Next is a really cool app called Torch NC. It's very similar to the old tweak called Torch, um, but basically allows you to add the flashlight button in Notification Center. So you just download it, uh, you turn it on in Notification Center, and basically you can just press that button and it will actually turn on the flash. Uh, so very handy if you're in the dark, really, really fast to get to. Next is a really old tweak called Infinity Dock. Uh, this has been around for a long time, but now has uh, support for the iOS 6. and basically allows you to have as many icons as you want in the dock and you can actually scroll through all of them. Uh, you have lots of customization so if we go into settings here and we go under infinity dock right there uh, we can actually change how many icons per page so if we want to change it to let's say five we just click that exit the application and now we have five on the bottom you can customize it up to what is it ten you can have ten icons on the bottom uh, you can change the scrolling you can change basically everything about it it's really really cool so go and check that out the next tweak is also a really old tweak, it's called Safari Download Manager, and it's been around for like a very, very long time. Uh, but it's really cool, it's been supported on the iOS 6 now. Uh, so basically it allows you to download files from Safari. So here we have a downloads button here, we can see all our downloads, we can open it in iFile or any other application. 
and uh, basically allows you to download stuff on your iPhone, which you couldn't do before. The next is a really handy tweak that's called Camera Tweak and allows you to add some functionality to the built-in camera in the iOS devices. So if you open up the camera app right here, uh, we got options for white balancing, we got options for, uh, for focusing, as well as some timers and some clocks and all that cool stuff there. Uh, but my very favorite is in the video section. Uh, here we can actually change the uh, definition of the video as well as the frame rate. So we can actually increase the frame rate higher. Uh, I think we can go 60 frames per second, which allows you to do 60 frames per second, allowing you to shoot slow motion video. So very, very cool, and check that one out. Now last but not least, we have two last tweaks that allow you to customize the top bar of your iDevice, the very first one being Bolt, which all it does is basically remove the, the battery icon from the top right hand corner, because there's no point of having it if you have the percentage uh, there too. Basically gives you more real estate on that top bar, especially if you're using lots of Cydia tweaks that require more real estate uh, for notifications and such, that's really handy. Uh, the next one is called Zeppelin, which basically changes the carrier to any logo that you want. They're always adding logos, and I think you can make your own too. Yeah, you can store them in library Zeppelin. So if you want to make your own, you can do that too. They're always adding more. I have the Apple logo, and I think it looks pretty spiffy. So I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you're interested in the history of cell phones, check out my last video on the Tech History Episode 2, where I explain the history of cell phones. I thought it was... It's, it's, uh, it's a pretty fun time, so go and check out that. Anyways, I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye, and have a wonderful weekend.